Good morning, good morning. Hello, Build. Welcome to day two. And now I'm very excited to announce that we will be bringing Timeline to your iPhone and your Android devices as well. Thank you. And making the PC the perfect second screen to your phone. So you saw some of this yesterday. I'm thrilled to announce that coming in a future release of Windows, we will be shipping an inbox app that will allow you to get some of the key workloads off your phone right onto your PC. You can launch it from the taskbar. Launching it will give you access. It's a permanent destination for your photos, for your texts, for your notifications, and many other key workloads over time from your phone right there on, on your PC. And so today, I'm going to walk you through sets. So as you'll see here, we're going to start in a Word document, where here I am, someone putting together a rainfall report. And of course, one of the first things that I'm going to see is a web link that might be in my document, or it might be research that I'm doing. And what starts to happen as I get going is more and more things will open up. OK, the next insider build you get will take web content and put your recent web tabs right at your fingertips and alt tab. So you get this automatic muscle memory feeling of switching back to the last thing, regardless of whether it's web or app. And yes, I, thank you. I can see some of you clapping for that. In Microsoft Word, we have a goal to make every person a better writer. And one way we do this is with grammar checking. However, some errors are very, very hard to detect with traditional algorithms. For example, in English, you get into a car, but onto a train. We've trained the grammar checker, and it now can suggest corrections that I can take action on and fix. We're running this on Windows ML. It's the little things that matter the most, right? Like how in Notepad, the Linux slide feeds don't actually end. Well, we fixed Notepad. We decided, finally, time to go fix it. Notepad now supports Linux line feeds. Of course, we continue to invest in the Microsoft Store. We're building new ways for consumer developers to track the, the use of their apps, to deploy their apps. And one thing that we're excited to announce at Build this year is a change in the revenue model within the store for consumer apps. So if you're somebody who writes consumer apps, not games, not commercial apps, you'll care about the fact that going forward later this year, we'll increase the revenue share to 85% of the revenue going to you if someone comes to the Microsoft Store, finds your app, and installs it. But even better, if you're running your own campaigns or promoting your app on your website, if you send a customer to the Microsoft Store and they find your app, we'll return 95% of the revenue to you, making this the most developer-friendly store from an economic point of view of all the large ecosystems. Today, I'm here to show you how, by building adaptive cards, you can engage with your users in your apps right in the flow of their daily conversations. Adaptive cards are an open source card exchange format that allow you to embed your content inside of other applications. I'm thrilled to announce that starting today, you can pay off bills and invoices directly in Outlook using adaptive cards. This integrates with Microsoft Pay, which means that I can access all of the payment methods that I already have securely stored in the cloud to streamline the payment process. For developers, Microsoft Graph is accessible through one single unified REST API endpoint, graph.microsoft.com. You can connect to Microsoft Graph to power your own app experiences. By doing so, your app will be able to sign in users seamlessly with the same identity that is used by Windows and Office, and you will be able to use the same business data that Microsoft 365 apps use. To make it even further, I'm happy to announce that we're making the new graph UWP controls available today. Thank you so much for coming and spending time with us today. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Have a great build. We appreciate everything you do. So long. Microsoft Dev Yoga ME 365 Enterprise Edition. Sponsored by Lenovo. See what I did there? Yoga, Lenovo? Yeah, too early still? No.